So hello, hi everybody. Welcome again to uh, today's vlog. I'll be doing this very quickly. Now what I'm trying to do is an exercise that I'm doing, okay? An exercise is based on uh, NDB VR and you need a map for that and you also need a ruler and you need a marker. Okay, just like on the plane. On the, so <coughs> I have planned all that here on my lap. Now I'm gonna pull out the navigation display now. Uh, I'll be now. I'm just going to pretend I'm lost. Okay, I'm coming from train to uh, Western. Okay, um, I don't know where am I, so I just wanted to make sure I get back on the course. So we will be uh, doing that now. The wind actually blow me off. So let me just try to get back on course here. We're nearly there anyway. Okay, so now, like I said, so now I'm going to be tuned into Baldono VR, which is 115 the small. Baldono, uh, yeah, 15 8. I have that one here. And also I have 14 for Dublin. So I tune in on that. Now 15.8. I am now going to... Uh, da, da, da. Again, this little display here. I'm going to turn this one into the from is displaying. Now from and I need a needle to be centered or the little bar. It's nice scented. So it looks like I am on 330 from Baldono. So I'm gonna take the ruler and the radio is 330. So Baldono is somewhere there and 270, 330. Uh, now I have traced a line from that VOR to there. So now I'm going to tune in to Dublin VOR. Okay. Yeah, you just bear in mind that before you tune in, there's a beep sound. Beep, 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 beep. That's the Moise chord sound. Mo the Moise chords. Okay. Uh, so now, now I'm tuning to Dublin VOR. I'm looking for the from. I have the from. Now I want the center. So it looks like this is two. 45 from Dublin VR so the Dublin VR is somewhere here so I will be 80 270 60 I have uh, what was I again 240 so it looks like 240 is there so there you go I'm actually close home so whatever those two line meet that's where I am and I'm actually close to Western and also you can see from you can see from the map that I'm actually close to Western Airport which is this one now if I see M there you go see that's Western so I'm there there's a view or there's a line see that line there okay that's the same line that is the that's the same line I just did now you don't see from there okay so wherever them two line meet the Baldono viewer will go this side remember it was two three no sorry three three zero so that would goes this side and 240 goes that way so wherever those meet that's where I am of course since I'm going fast I'm not going to wait but at least I know my last point position which is literally somewhere here okay and uh, yeah so that's why you know um you know to be honest really you shouldn't be uh, getting lost but you never know you know maybe poor planning or weather deviation there's whole one in sixty one in six or sixteen one or no one in sixty rules one in six rules is all there to deviate from the weather and so on i think is when you go straight from uh from south to let's say north to make it easy 
in the Zueda line right in the middle between north and south you go east or west and so you you count it first the time you time from how long it takes you to deviate from your initial uh, track and once you pass the weather you time it and now you turn ahead to your destination and you time it so it's like a diamond shape sort of okay so uh yeah so again vor is stand for very high frequency omnidirectional range uh ndb is not uh no directional beacon uh and then what else dme is stand for distance measurement equipment okay those are very old uh, navigation display or navigation now thanks to gps uh, these are not being used used anymore but it's good to know it at least you know from the background you know what i mean gps is easy to use but these ones you know, it's not everywhere but trust me if you go to africa for example there's a lot of places where there's no uh, ifr it's visual flies okay and then you know there's no air traffic control there's no radar so you basically have to use uh, uh vors or town to town you know checkpoint to checkpoint you know village to village or you know road to road that's really <coughs> you know because i know a lot of pilots who have that do have that issue actually it's on youtube uh yeah so there you go we have it here and i'm gonna carry i'm gonna finish off this one now and take a little break uh yeah thanks for tuning in you know this is the start of my youtube career let's put it that way <laughs> you know uh yes 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 all right so uh, th again thank you for watching and if you have anything just let me know don't forget to give a thumbs up of course and take it from there and yeah if you like the video give a thumbs up give a feedback negative feedback is always welcome you know we do mistake multiple time in order to um to get it the next time so one mistake second mistake the third time we we'll get it done okay so yeah again thank you for watching and have a good day bye Yeah, so uh, like I was saying earlier on, okay, so basically this is where I were earlier, okay, but don't know if your radio was three, uh, three zero, so that was going this side, and I picked the Dublin VOR, which was 240, went this way, so wherever those two lines meet, that's where you are roughly, okay, you could be ahead, you could be back, or, but you know, that's the way it is. That's the way you should be. Now, um, of course, you're going to be doing a wind corrections and so on. And also, it, but this one doesn't tell you whether you're going north, east, south or west. It doesn't tell you none of this. Okay. You will have to figure out now if you're going to Dublin. So now you see earlier when it's a from, now it has to be two. But now it be the reciprocal of 240 which be this side so your aircraft heading has to be around this part because if you do this part you're going to be away from this viewer okay